Shut it. You only have one little nugget of a bar. Pardon? Huh? What? Uh oh, there's a Jeep. Oh, oh Lord. monument i didn't know it was the end of it uh there was a cool jeep that was behind me so i decided to get behind it hoping for some good footage uh the monument was really cool to see but definitely not the off-roading that we were looking for that day uh, i think we thought that there would be uh, a lot more trails kind of taken off of it but the two that we passed were close uh, but we've been wanting to check out this wild horse conservation uh closer on the denver side of the area for a while so that was the next stop after lunch though. After scouring through Onyx off-road at lunch, we found a dirt trail that looked pretty easy that also went through the wild horse conservation area. Uh, it was about 30 minutes up the road, if that, but finally we got some dirt on the tires. Thank you. 
got his Explorer stuck. This is, this is crazy. the wild horses. We don't even have to go further. It's closed, of course. So at this point in the journey, we'd been in the truck for about six hours just driving around. Uh, we got to the wild horse conservation and of course the trail was closed, but there was this road that went up the hill. So we decided to take a walk up the hill towards what was called the main canyon on the conservation. Of course, there's another gate at the top, which was closed, but I felt like the truck needed to flex the suspension a little bit. It was nothing hard at all, but it was the most off-road road of the day. And at the top, we ended up seeing a wild horse. All right, y'all, so moderate failure. Uh, Colorado National Monument was awesome. I'd never been there before, actually. Uh, I was expecting a little more off-road, but it was all paved, pretty much. We are a little bit early in the season. It is March 15th today, I think, or somewhere around March, um, middle of March, somewhere around March. So we're a little bit early. Most trails open in April and May, and then even some in June. So we're a bit early, but we will get back out here in the summertime. This particular area is going to be freaking awesome because there's wild horses along this route. Uh, even though there are power lines up in front of us, once that opens, I think it's at April 1st, so 15 days, we'll come back down here and look for some wild horses. But as for the truck, she did beautifully. Uh, no real hard off-road or trail driving, but transmission is looking perfect. But there's a wild horse back there, so let's go see if we can find it. <laughs> 